Hey guys, I'm Jens Ansø and uh, this is my workshop tour. So this is what I consider the heart of the of my workshop. This is the grinding room. This is one of the areas that have changed the, the most. I've been in this shop for 21 years now. I graduated from college and I bought this house to build my, my workshop. The grinding room was my first room that I built in the shop and, uh, and over the years machines has changed. I bought new, I've built new. So the first machine, which one is the oldest? This one and by far the most ugly. <laughs> <laughs> but but this one, it, it just works so well. If, if you're no grinders, this is a so-called horizontal grinder. It excels in using small wheels. So every time you need to grind a, a small radius, this is uh, the machine you go to. I bought a very expensive and super high-end machine that can do the same. This old one is still my go-to machine. It just works. I've, I've even considered rebuilding it just to make it a little more pretty, but come on, <laughs> it's story. This is my assembly room. This is where I lay out all the parts and materials, where I do all the final handwork, where I hand polish blades, where I assembly all the folders and do the final sharpening. So this is the deepest internal room in the, in the shop. So uh, this is the packaging room. This is my wife, Karina. And so of Denmark, as you probably know, is a family run business. I do all the hard work and Karina do all the easy work. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm not sure about that. If you receive the package from us, it will be packaged by Karina. And uh, she writes all the handwritten notes. That allows you to actually be able to read what it says. <laughs> uh, yeah, what else do you do here? I pack the tools yeah. when it's ready. Yeah. And I also assemble some extra yeah. knives and some other tools as well. And so, so. where do, uh, is it, uh, do, do Andrew only ship to Denmark or do they actually ship around the world or? I'm really glad you asked that question. <laughs> Follow me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Karina. You're welcome. Now, come with me. So what you see here is the map of Anso world domination. <laughs> you can see all the small needles in the map here from, we ship all over the world. We only just a couple of years ago started keeping track of which countries and which states. So for instance, in the US, we decided it, it would make sense to put needles for each state, but obviously some of the countries is just one needle per country. So we have the red are for folding knives, the blue are for tools, and the white are for kitchen knives. It just fills me with a lot of joy to, to see that we are everywhere, more or less. So this is one of the good examples of using every inch of space that I have available. This is basically just a staircase to to the next level, but here I have my heat treat oven. I started relatively early, maybe 15 years ago, with this oven to heat treat myself, just to have the flexibility and the ability to start a heat treat on a Saturday, for instance, if I have a rush build. Not really much to say about this, other than I use air hardened steel for basically everything I do. I just built this setup. I've been wanting to do this for years. This keeps my, uh, my blades straight after heat treat. So imagine red hot steel going in here. What? This speeds up the cooling a little bit, but the main objective is to keep uh, the steel straight. The cool thing about it is that it, it swivels. So 
next package of red hot steel and you are you're in business so uh, this room is not really presentable at all this used to be the the old cnc room it was tight anyways we have big plans with this room it will be a showroom leather workshop we started that process a little bit uh, a little lounge area an extended area for my studio as well but right now it's storage and a big mess we simply grew out of space two years ago we were so lucky and we were able to rent space just across the driveway So we just entered uh, what we call the new space. It's, it's always been hard for me to put responsibility away from me. I've always wanted to have my hands right here with everything that I do. And I still do that, but there's not enough hours in the, in the day for me to do everything. So for a number of years, I've had shop helpers. Uh, both to uh, help me run the CNC machines and to do some of the more mundane stuff, beat blasting, some of that. The room we just entered here is in their neighbor building. This is an old um, soda pop factory from the 60s and before that it was um, a cheese warehouse. So uh, this is uh, Henrik, he's our in-house carpenter and uh, he does all the handwork in the workshop. Tell me, uh, what are you doing right now? I'm just grinding off some tool marks. Yeah. This is, by the way, our brand new product, the Anso Puzzle. Uh, when this uh, video is airing, this has been out for a little while, I guess, but this will debut in 11 days so Henrik is is just a master of using his hands so he's actually built the entire workshop over here he has become a magnificent um, what do you call this um, the dust collection plumber whatever and he's just a, a super great asset to the company So Christian, he's, a, he's an artist around the CNC machines. I throw whatever at him and he'll just make it happen. So right now we're working with zirconium and everybody who has ever worked with zirconium knows that that sucks. <laughs> but uh, the end result will be a small puzzle piece here. And I'll talk to you a lot more about that or you'll see a lot more to this, but uh, this is a titanium piece. Not so finished yet in the uh, zirconium here. Finalized the shop tour. We've now arrived in my studio. This is where I do all the mundane office work, but also where I do all my design work, where I I feel the creative side a little bit, uh, reading my books. This is my thinking chair, reading chair. I have my drawing table from back when I was in college as an architect. Very important thing over here is my turntable. Vintage hi-fi. I always put on some 90s hip hop or some jazz. I just function best with some music or let me say that in another way. I function when there's music. For me, it has been absolutely needed and necessary to, to create a space like my studio where I can feel inspired. I do that by collecting some nice items that I enjoy, like my Vino chair. It just helps the creativity just a little bit. Just to show the uh, different areas of, of things, obviously I have a Blade Runner blaster. Oh, that 
That's so cool, man. But I also have a Mills grenade from World War II that my grandfather got from the resistance. That's a little weapon really like, or a small Easter Island head that my dad carved when he was a teenager. So this concludes the shop tour. Really hope you enjoyed seeing this part of my world. And if you've stayed on for this long, I'm sure you're a little geeky like me. Anyways, now you've seen where I make these. If you follow this channel, you'll get a deeper look into the process behind knife making, knife design. I will talk, of course, about my knives, my watches, my design process. So um, be sure to subscribe. Also, if you want to have a more direct contact with me in, uh, in my daily life, uh, be sure to follow me on Instagram. That's at Inso of Denmark. Thanks so much, guys, and see you next time.